Gustav Kirchhoff was a physicist who developed two laws that greatly simplified the analysis of any circuit. The two laws that he had were that the sum of currents at any junction adds up to zero. What that means is that the current entering the junction is going to be the same as the current leaving the junction. So essentially, at a junction like this, the current coming in will split, part of it going up and part of it going down. And the current entering this junction uh, are going to join together. And so the sum of these two currents equals that current there. The other of Kirchhoff's laws stated that the voltage in any loop equals zero. And so if we were to simplify this circuit by taking these two parallel resistors and combining them into an equivalent resistor, we would know that the voltage added by this battery was equal to the voltage used by these resistors or this equivalent resistor here. So in any loop, in any circuit, you can figure out how the components are going to be divided by following Kirchhoff's rules. The voltage added by this equals the voltage taken out by this component of the circuit. And the current coming in is equal to the current exiting here. Now if these two resistors were equivalent with each other, if they were the exact same resistance, then we would know that the current entering here would split evenly. Half of it would go to one path and half of it would go to the other. If they're different, however, we again apply Kirchhoff's rules in order to figure out what's going to happen. Notice that right here we could draw a loop like that. And as you cross this resistor, notice that the current will be going this way. The drop of voltage will be following the direction of the loop. Whereas down here, the drop of current or drop of voltage is going to be opposite the direction of the loop. And so whatever voltage drop occurs here is exactly opposed by the voltage drop here. And so if you're ever in doubt about how the current is going to split entering a junction, the major thing to realize is that because this is a loop and this voltage drop goes with the loop, this voltage drop goes against the direction of the loop, realize that the voltage drop across two parallel components of a circuit will always be the same. If you have a 10 volt drop here, you're gonna have a 10 volt drop there. And if this was a capacitor, that would be true too. The drop across the capacitor here would be the same as the drop across the resistor there. And so as soon as you gain that familiarity with Kirchhoff's rules, realize that no matter what happens, all of the voltage added by the battery is going to be used up as you go through this circuit. And the other thing is that Normally, you can expect that it's going to be a 50-50 split of current, but if these are two different resistors, then the current will split such that V equals IR of this one is going to equal V equals IR of that one. And that is all you need to know for the MCAT about Kirchhoff's laws, is that this junction law has to apply and that the splitting is going to be all about what will make this loop here have a uh, total sum of voltages of zero.